My name is Mo Li. I'm Associate Professor of Bioscience. Uh, I work at the university called King Abdullah, University in Science and Technology. I was trained as a cell, stem cell biologist. So I did my postdoc training at the Salk Institute, working on human pluripotency and stem cells and CRISPR genome editing. Currently, my research interest is using stem cells to understand human diseases and uh, development. So my lab uses uh, different models to study diseases and development. CRISPR is a very powerful genetic editing tool. However, uh, we also learned that CRISPR is not 100% precise. There are a lot of off-target effects and on-target effects. So we apply long range sequencing to understand the risks associated with CRISPR tool. Uh, we develop long read so-called UMI, that's unique molecular identifiers, so that we can capture the large-scale changes induced by CRISPR-Cas9 at the target sites. And uh, we publish one of the first reports that can quantify such large deletions. And we also applied long reads to understand uh, other type of changes uh, induced by Cas9, including large insertions into the uh, site that cut by Cas9. So these insertions can bring in new genetic materials, sometimes harmful genetic materials, to the editing sites. For this purpose, we also applied uh, nanopore sequencing uh, to quantify and characterize these uh, large insertions. So single cell is very important to dissect the cell types, understand the, and then find, identify the markers, and then that can generate new hypotheses. And also we use single cell as a way to validate our model because we need to understand what cells are there, are they supposed to be there? And uh, what about their gene expression signatures? Can they uh, mimic what happened in the human embryo? So the, to, to answer this question, we must use single cell technologies. So I think first thing is data quality. We really need high quality data to drive our science. And then after that, we'll consider support and pricing, access. Uh, it's hard to rank them precisely, but uh, if we have good quality data and good support, uh, this is a very uh, good start to a, a long-term collaboration and a relationship. So I'm, in this regard, I'm pretty happy with the current uh, work we started with MGI in the single cell uh, RNA sequencing topic. Uh, we got uh, quite nice data from the demo. So that encouraged us to continue to invest in this area to work with MGI. I think data uh, analysis, how to handle this rich data, uh, how to get the most information out of them, and, uh, and then drive the science. This is probably the most challenging point to us. So because they different labs with a different technology platform, and uh, they also have different threshold the criteria for the uh, cutoff. So it makes very challenging, even for a professional bioinformatician to handle multiple sources of data. So I think going forward, if, uh, if we can have more standardized single cell data and uh, also a quality uh, standards when you upload and publish your data, it will help everyone to, to get higher quality uh, questions answered. It's uh, interesting now we have MGI that can offer uh, many platforms in, under one name. Uh, so I'm very interested in seeing how this can evolve into a maybe a more integrated system for researchers.